Okay, forgive me for going on and on about this, but I, I can't, I still can't get over this. Okay, so the Chris Watts mother connection, as a lot of people have described already, is freaking creepy and weird to me. Um, even after her son did what she did, what he did, and like she stood by him to the degree that she stands by him. Um, the interviews that she's given where she's like unapologetic and basically just talks about what like their deaths in this like very removed way. Super creepy, all of it. And the creepiest thing to me that I was thinking about today is this whole vibe she gave off while Chris and Shanann were together before he murdered her. Um, that was basically sending the message of like, Shanann's not good enough for Chris Watts. Oh my God. <laughs> First of all, hi. Um, she was like the breadwinner and the default parent and growing a human inside of her. Um, secondly, like the stuff that Shanann had beef over with, with his mom so reasonable like hey my kid's allergic to that please don't give it to her like do you want her to go into anaphylactic shock like what the hell is wrong with you and I feel like any non-narcissistic parent would be like um or a caretaker would be like oh yeah of course I don't want to give her what she's allergic to like please I'm so sorry won't happen again um but instead she like sticks to her guns on it like ew what a mountain to die on. But anyway, what's what goes deeper than that to me is I feel like he was so almost like codependent in his in the way he let his mother influence his opinion on his wife that maybe to some degree he allowed himself to justify that to himself. Like he allowed himself to justify having an affair on the woman who was basically the main breadwinner and the default caretaker of their children. Because whatever stuff was in his ear from his mom, he was allowing that to influence the way that he thought about Shanann, thus justifying like all these things he did to her before he killed her. And so I wonder to what degree his mom trash talking Shanann and I'm sure the trash talking you know Nicole did inevitably and then how someone who's as spineless as him got the like courage and spine or balls or whatever you want to call it to do this thing um yeah that is is frightening to me because like I said in my other video on him he seems like this individual without a core and he seems like he's very easily influenced and it's frightening and sad to me that his mother seemed to be such a source of negative influence against Shanann and I wonder if there's like a personality type or something like that of someone who's basically a chameleon and like allows other people's points of view on things to like they soak it up and they they need they need they're like codependent on other people's like points of view anyway I hope this makes sense um but it's one of like a billion reasons why this guy is so freaking creepy